Well, to all my viewers, thank you so much for sticking around uh, this channel. And if you know, you need more of the business tips about the farming and starting with small scale businesses, please kindly stick on this channel and kindly consider subscribing because I'll be bringing to you different business ideas that you can start with small capital and at the comfort of your home. Uh, in today's video, as usual, I would just like to also still emphasize on maize milling business. Because uh, this is value addition to agricultural product, this is one of those profitable uh, business ideas that you can start anywhere. Because these machines, maize milling machines, come in different types. There are those that use diesel and there are those that use electricity. However, there are those machines that use both. So, at in any location where, the, where there is power or any location where there is no power, you can still start at this uh, business. When I talk about maize milling, I normally like someone who would like to start this business at a factory scale whereby you process your own maize and you sell finished products. And that's value addition and it will help you to make pretty amounts of money because maize is a staple food to almost every home in Uganda. This business can be started with approximately 16 to 20 million. You can start at least with two maize milling machines. One of the most important things that I would like to emphasize in this video is to understand the market in the maize industry. As you are all aware, maize takes approximately three months to be harvested. So in that period, you must make sure that if you are in a processing and packaging of maize flour in large quantities, you are supposed to make sure you stop maize because there is a problem of price fluctuation whenever maize is there is a shortage of maize in the market. So in your stocking at the end of the season, you are supposed to make sure that you have enough maize that can take you three, uh, through three months to avoid that tendency or the problem that is faced by a lot of maize processors in the industry. In order to compete favorably in the market, you're supposed to make sure that you get maize at a relatively cheaper price. So it's very important to make sure that you deal with direct farmers, not maize stores, because farmers will sell to you those maize at a relatively cheaper price. As you're all aware that maize is the main source of uh, feeds for animals. So you can start a branch for processing and mixing feeds for animals and that can be an additional source of income for you if you start processing maize. However, during your non-busy days, you can also help your community by processing uh, their maize in case they have small, small quantities and also add additional income from that. Value addition is one of those uh, investments that the government gives loan on. So you'll be having a lot of opportunities also to acquire government funds and also sponsors from outside there. Well, this maize business is one of those profitable business ideas that you need to think about. If it's possible, it's better to deal in maize business in an area where maize is grown because that will reduce your cost of transport of raw materials and as well as your finished uh, products. As you are well aware that maize is sold everywhere in the whole country. So in any of your location, there is market for maize flour. If you are watching this video and you are maize flour consumer, you are my witness. All families in Uganda at least take one maize meal in a week. So you can design your bread marketing skills whereby you can target institutions like schools where you can be supply, sup, supplying your maize flour. This is a very good business that you can start. Actually target maize growers, target those areas where maize is grown directly and there's no any processing factory there. Actually this will be an opportunity for the residents and the people who uh, grow maize because you'll be buying from them all this maize at once. Well, this channel is basically to discuss about money-making uh, businesses. 
If you want to learn a few things that I will be talking about from this channel, can you consider subscribing? I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of money making ideas on this channel. Let's grow this channel together and I wish you the best in your next uh, business choice. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.